Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at a Target exclusive. At least in the U.S. it's Target exclusive. I don't know if they're available in other countries or not, and if they are, I don't know where you would find them, but in the U.S. this is a Target set. Uh, and in like other Target sets in the past or what have been coming out in the last couple of years, it's a Target set that is uh, targeted at maybe more of the nostalgic uh, Hot Wheels collector, being that they are made to look retro and vintage. And this one is pretty cool. This is the Hot Wheels Ultra Hots. And I am way into this, uh, big time, because Ultra Hot Wheels were the, the new wheel, basically, when I was uh, beginning to collect uh, Hot Wheels as a child. So these are near and dear to me. I remember seeing these on cars that I would find on the pegs when I was very little. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first of all, a quick look at the card art. It's got a classic look to the card art, which is absolutely fantastic. This Ultra Hots uh, card art. Uh, the original Hot, uh, Hot Wheels Ultra Hots, I believe, came out in 1984-ish. Um, I actually do have a couple of them. Um, I just... These were the two I could think of that I got. I have this... Uh, this one is called the Quick Trick, I think, which is actually... or it's the race bait 308 casting. It's a Ferrari uh, 308. Uh, this one in like a kind of a bluish turquoise ish kind of color. And then this one in purple. Uh, this one's in not as great a shape, but it's still pretty good. Um, and you'll see how the styling of these cars, these new, this new series that has come out, has really just uh, taken, a, you know, taken this series and kind of redone it with some more modern castings. Um, but saying modern castings, a lot of these castings have been around for quite some time already. Uh, we're going to start with this, which is going in order. There are eight cars in the set. So there's the front of the card. The card's going to look the same except for the rendering of the vehicle, which matches the vehicle in the package. And then we have uh, the eight vehicles there that we're going to see on the back of the card. Even the back of the card looks fairly vintage, which is really neat. It is definitely a neat set. It, I'm almost tempted almost to get a set of these just to keep carded. I, I really like it that much. Um, I just do. All right, so I think they're going to come out with another wave of it too. So there's going to be another wave of eight cars at some point in time. All right, so these you'll find at Target again. Uh, the first one we have is the 66 uh, Ford Fairlane 427. And uh, this casting originally debuted, I believe, in the 2009 mainline. And it's seen uh, quite a few releases, uh, quite a few mainline releases. It's had some premium releases as well. It's been in Hot Wheels Garage series. Um, it was in the uh, Vintage American Muscles series. Well, that was kind of like a, not really a premium series, but whatever, like a Walmart special series. Um it's it's been in a few things. Road Trippin' series was another Walmart series it was in. Um, so it's it's been in a few things, and it has had some premium releases just in the Garage series, I think. I don't know what else. Um, but a pretty cool casting. These have um, these, by the way, are found for two ninety nine each. Okay, so they are more expensive than your basic Hot Wheels. They do have the Ultra Hot Wheels, which are fantastic. They have full deco, so they're going to have headlights and taillights. They're going to have this kind of deco on the sides and top and whatever. Um, they're also going to be kind of a Spectra Flame paint, almost super treasure hunt-ish. And uh, it's kind of made to look like that retro thing here. Now, this has lost maybe a little bit of its sheen since it first came out, but uh, it was a kind of a translucent paint. This one has some chips in it as well. Neither of these was in absolutely perfect condition, um, but just kind of an example. Let's see what they're going for here. And I think it's very cool. I like these actually a lot. Um, very, very neat. All right, so there's the first one. Um, the next one is the uh, 69 Mercury Cyclone. And this is kind of a Zamac look we get in here. Again, same car art, just the rendering of the car is the difference. Uh, this casting debuted in 2012 in the main line. Um, it's also had like a, a couple premium releases. It was uh, in the 2013 Cool Classics line. 
Um, it's been in a few multi packs as exclusives. It's been uh, Hot Wheels Heritage Redliners. It was in there uh, with a metal base, I believe. So th these all have plastic bases, by the way, with the Ultra Hot Wheels. It would be cool if they had metal bases, but they do not. So this one's been around the block a little bit. Not too much in the main line, but it's been uh, in some other series. And I'm digging the deco on it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we've got to uh, see that retro look to the Ultra Hots. They kind of got a lightning bolt kind of theme going on on all these cars uh, in the Tampo design. But yeah, we get uh, basically a Zamac in this one. And there was a Zamac Ultra Hot, I believe, too, in the original ones. Some fantasy casting, I, I think. Uh, but yeah, check that out. Gold Ultra Hot Wheels on this one. Um, again, we should see some uh, details there from the headlights, and there is some. And some detail there in the taillights as well. Very cool. All right, so there is those two. Uh, next one is... The 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Uh, this one, I think, probably, uh, I might be wrong, but this one, I think, has, like, the longest history uh, as far as, I think it's the oldest casting in this set, 1970, or 1970. It's a 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Uh, there was a hardtop version of this came out the same year, but it was a uh, 1997 mainline. I believe is when this casting debuted. Um, it's been in a lot of weird stuff. Uh, lots of weird stuff. Power Launcher, some Target Decades release, uh, the, the classics, the original classics, uh, some Mardi Gras release, Sense 68, Connect Cars, Easter stuff. Um, it was also in the 2021 Flying Customs, which was a Target retro series as well. Uh, this one again in purple. Looks very similar purple to the first car here. And again, we get ultra hot wheels, of course. And your Spectre Flame purple. It's a, actually a slightly different hue. So they are different. This is pretty cool. I, I'm not a huge fan of this casting in particular. I should say the ultra hot wheels really roll well as well. Um... Yeah, so, you know, maybe all Hot Wheels really roll well, but I think the original Ultra Hunts, did they have a different type of axle? No, they weren't like, yeah, maybe a little bit. It was a thinner axle for sure. These feel definitely way different. Um, yeah, not much to say about this, but again, um, you get the uh, detail on the back and the front so they do have a full deco that's really kind of what you're paying for you're probably paying for the retool of these wheels for one um even though not all the cars in the set have these wheels which we'll get into here in just a sec and then um you're also paying for the, the fact that they have a uh, full deco but no metal base i wish they would have had metal bases because most of these castings were available at one point in time with a metal base uh, i'm not so sure about this barracuda but I am pretty sure these two had metal base versions at one point. All right. Um, and then we got this here. Uh, this is the uh, 1980 El Camino. Now, this casting has been around since 2008. It actually debuted not in the main line, but in the original modern classics from 2008. Um, and since then, it's had some kind of oddball releases. It's been a super treasure hunt uh, before. It's. Uh, was in the uh, an HWC or Hot Wheels Club, Redline Club kind of thing, uh, Series 8 Real Riders. So it was in the Hot Ones that were released in 2011 and in 2012. And then I think its first mainline release actually has been in 2021. So it hasn't really seen the mainline very much. I think the casting's kind of cool. The disappointment for me with this casting is that they decided to use it, but didn't give it the ultra hot wheels. And that may be simply because they don't have the right size wheel to fit the casting in ultra hot, which may be why uh, they didn't do that. But then, in my opinion, I don't think they should have used the casting, maybe. But these look cool. 
again, you got Spectra Flame. This one's in like a Spectra Flame orange with your flame, lightning flame sort of uh, tampo action. I am still quite digging this. Um, even though it doesn't have the Ultra Hot Wheels. I wish it did have Ultra Hot Wheels. They could have even gave it red Ultra Hot Wheels. Should have done it um, if you could have. And apparently, I just think the wheels they had probably weren't the right size for the casting, so they made the decision to stick with these five-spoke wheels, um, which is a bit of a disappointment to me. I think they all should have Ultra Hot Wheels if they're in the Ultra Hot uh, set. Okay. Again, though, detail on the front. we got to look at the detail. Uh, this one's yeah, detail down there. So that's cool that uh, the base actually got some graphics. Well, yeah, on both both ends. So it looks good. It does look good, though. It does. All right. And then number five of the set doesn't have Ultra Hot Wheels either. Um, and this is the 71 Plymouth GTX. This casting has been around for a while. It's been around since 2001. It did debut in the main line. It's had some weird <laughs> releases as well. Um, it wasn't a Hot Wheels Club release for the Neo Classics. Um, it was in the Vintage Racing set in 2011, uh, Hot Wheels Collector's uh, Real Rider Series 11, um, it's been in Fast and Furious Premium, um, it's had, you know, it's had quite a few releases. I'm not a huge fan of this casting, mainly because of those offset size wheels. I've always thought this car looked kind of goofy. Um, I mean, it's all right. But just those offset wheels, it's a little bit too stylized for me. And uh, this has five spokes, which it doesn't have the ultra hot. So this this is my least favorite in this particular series. Although I do like the color. The green on this is pretty good. Uh, we get Spectra Flame green, and that's, that's good. I like that. Uh, so I am digging that. Other than that, uh, you know, these are like my least favorite. No, well, they're not really my least favorite basic wheels, but I'm not a huge fan of them. These five spokes. Uh, you get details up front though, and you do get details in the back. It's really what you're paying the extra money for and the extra card art and stuff like that. Um, still digging it. I still dig this series. I think it's really cool. All right. Number six. 1970 Chevy Camaro RS. This casting has been around for a while as well. This has been around since 2006. And the funny thing is, is it debuted in a series called Ultra Hots. Totally different series than this. Really more of a premium series with uh, rubber tires. Um, it came out in 06 and 07. Not totally unrelated. Not done in this style at all. Um, this has also seen a Clover Cars release. It's been a convention piece, I think, for the 23rd convention in 2009. Just looking at my notes. Um, various other weird little mainline releases like Stars and Stripes and stuff like that. Mainline style releases, I should say. And 2021 mainline it was in. Anywho, it's an alright casting. This one actually is sitting on Ultra Hots. It's got a Spectra Flame Blue. Very deep blue, and it looks really good, actually. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, the, the wheels do look a little goofy on this with the, how big the back wheel is and how this thing kind of sits. It does look a little little crazy on these Ultra Hot Wheels, but I think it's cool just because, again, uh, the Ultra Hot Wheels are near and dear to me and being a child and collecting um, and digging Hot Wheels when I was a kid. So there you go. You get headlights, you get taillights, ultra hots. And I'm just taking a peek on the bottom here. Copyright dates 2020. And that's because I don't think it saw a mainline release maybe since 2021. I think this casting's older though. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, by the way, I think these were all made in, these were all made in Malaysia. So they were made in Malaysia, not in Thailand. Like, some of the premium stuff is made in Thailand, I think. Is it Thailand? I don't know. Anyway. 
pretty cool. And then uh, this one I would thought would be the one that would be the most difficult to find. This is the uh, 87 Buick Regal Grand National. I don't know if people just don't like the ultra hot wheels, but this thing, there were so many of these uh, at the Target that I was at. I would have thought people would scoop them up. I actually scooped up extras of this one. I just thought later on this might be desirable. So this 87 Buick Regal, I mean, really, I mean, it started in Fast and Furious Motor City Muscle, right? And then it was in Car Culture Power Trip 2021 Boulevard as well. And then, then it's been in the 2021 Mainline and now uh, 2022, oh, it's in 2022 Replica Entertainment Fast and Furious again. So, but now 2022, we get another kind of premium-ish slash basic model. So we got the plastic base and stuff, but we get full deco. And I don't know. I'm going to collect this casting, I think. I'll probably get pretty much every version of this particular casting to come out with. And I think it's in a cool color. And again, I'm, I'm digging these on the hot wheels. So this is kind of a burgundy. And it looks really good. And it the graphics on it, I think, are pretty sick. And the gold wheels, I think, are also a good choice. So I am actually liking this one a lot. I picked up extras. Wasn't going to pick up all of them, but I did pick up three or four. I think three or four extra ones, just a half. At a later date. For some reason, I think this is going to be desirable. I think this set may be desirable. It depends on how long they run it. Uh, if they run you know, it for a long, long time, maybe it won't be. I don't know. But if it's like kind of short run and uh, you got to get them now and then you're never going to see them again, I could see some of these models being somewhat desirable. But they're desirable to me. It's just because I have an, a, you know, an affection for the wheels. All right, this is a uh, uh, 67 old 442's last in this wave here. Um, this casting has been around since 2011, debuted in the Hot Wheels Garage series, um, was in the main line in 20. 12 cool classics 2013 road trip in 2014 and in the 2021 main line i believe it was in the golf livery main line um this one is in red a spectra flame red with a yellow window cool i like it i think they look good they just look good the colors the spectra flame the ultra hots, the kind of over the top, kind of Hot Wheels look. It's good. I like it. I don't know how many times I can say I like it in this video, but um, I was excited to see that this set was coming out. And I was especially excited about like this casting in particular. And um, actually, I quite dug this as well. And you know, the, this is good. And this is good. These are really the best ones. I think uh, these two maybe, and then these two, then this one, and then the, of course, the ones with the wheels that I'm not super fond of. But I dig this set. All right. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of it. Do you think these are worth the extra two bucks? They're three times as much, at least in the US, they're three times as much as a standard mainline Hot Wheel. Okay. So they are more expensive. Um, do you think that what you get is worth it. Are you into it? Are you trying to find them? Do you want them? If you live overseas, are you trying to find them or do you want them? Would you try to source a set or can you get them over there? I don't know. Maybe you can and it's at some different retailer that I'm not aware of. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.